An identifier is a name that's used to represent a variable, object, or a method. Identifiers can contain letters, A to Z, uppercase, or A to Z, lowercase, digits, 0 through 9, underscores, and dollar signs. Identifiers cannot start with a digit, and it's good practice to not use the underscore or dollar sign when naming identifiers. These were used in older programming languages, and I guess just to stay consistent, they allowed using these characters when creating identifiers in Java. Standard naming conventions or style are when you start your identifier with a lowercase word and capitalize the first letter of any other words, and this is called camel case. And identifiers should be meaningful and self-documenting. So let's create a couple identifiers, and I'll show you some examples of good and bad ways to create identifiers. So in this class, we're going to create an identifier that represents the sales tax. And because a sales tax is a decimal number, we're going to use double as the data type. Double T and let's say 8.75. All right, so T is actually a valid identifier for the sales tax. But is it descriptive? Is it self-documenting? It's not. People may look at it and be like, what does T stand for? I have no idea. So, a better name would be sales tax. Notice that in sales tax, the S is lowercase in the word sales, and the T it starts with an uppercase letter. This is called camel case. You want to make sure all your variable names start with the lowercase letter. And then for a person's age, you could say int age is 16. And age is a very meaningful variable name rather than just A. You don't have no idea what A stands for. And make your variable names descriptive. Not only does it make more sense, but if you were to come back and look at your program a year later, you would know exactly what that variable means just by looking at it. And you know that it's holding the value of somebody's age and that 8.75 is the value of the sales tax. You cannot start identifiers with numbers, for example, int Tupac. You can't create a variable called Tupac because it starts with a number. But if you really wanted your variable name to be Tupac, you could, you could change it to like that. Spell it out with letters and it works. You can include dollar signs in there. made dollar sign E, mace, sign that to 12, and that's valid, but you typically don't want to use underscores, and you don't want to have underscores in your variable name, although it's valid, you could do things like that, sales tax, with an underscore in the middle, it's more commonly done with, without the underscore, and done and using camel case by capitalizing the first letter of every word, it's very readable, and you don't need underscores to separate them, so in these examples, Double and int are the names of the primitive data types. Sales tax, age, Tupac, and mace are all examples of variable names. The equal sign is the assignment operator, and the number after it is the value that's being assigned to that variable. And then we end all these statements with semicolons.